Phyto is a cute IoT flower pot that transforms your plant into pets. Making it easier for plant owners to look after the greenery, the device is loaded with a series of sensors that let it trigger different emotions by measuring everything from the soil moisture, temperature and light exposure. The emotions are displayed on the front screen. It displays an, an exhausted face if your plant needs water, a face with a chattering teeth if the plant feels too cold and shows sick if the plant feels too hot. Hey everyone, this is Minegil from Goddess Cafe. We are a team working on popularizing technology for everyone through our innovative projects. Are you a tech lover? Please subscribe to our channel to see more innovations like this. And it's time for the bill. Let's get started. We will use Raspberry Pi 02W as the controller for this flower pot. We have different generations of Raspberry Pi includes Pi 3, Pi 4, Pi 0 and Pi 02W. We chose Pi 02W due to its smaller size. We have three sensor candidates streaming to the Pi. The capacity sensor senses the soil moisture level in the flower pot, LM35 senses the surrounding temperature of the flower pot and LDR senses the light exposure to the plant. As we all know, the Raspberry Pi does not come with analog inputs. So we will do that by adding the ADS-115 ADC module. It's a 16-bit ADC with a high accuracy. It uses the I2C protocol to communicate with the Raspberry Pi. For displaying emotions, we are using a 2-inch IPS LCD module with a resolution of 320 by 240. So they can provide amazing outputs. This module uses SPA protocol for communicating with the Raspberry Pi. First, we hooked up all sensors and the LCD module to the Raspberry Pi 4 to make testing and calibration much easier because Pi 02W has no headers. We wrote down a piece of Python code in Raspberry Pi and figured out the maximum and minimum analog values of moisture and LDR modules. The code is updated and can play emojis on display according to the sensor values. You can find the entire code and assets in the description. It's time to design the flower code. We used the Autotest Fusion 360 to get the job done. Here is our design. The port consists of mainly three parts. The outer cover, the base and a container. The container is the place where the plant is to be set. Here we have our 3D printed parts which are way more appealing. We use the PLA material for printing these parts with an infill of 10%. So let's start assembly by wiring the stuff. One of the interesting facts in the 3D design is that we didn't add up any screws for attaching the components because lower diameter screws are not easily available in the market. If you have to do so, kindly look over the attached step file in the description. For powering up the port, we used this tiny USB module. At the front end, we used this 2mm transparent acrylic sheet to hide the depth between the outer cover and the LCD module. After that, we placed the plant in the vase and inserted the moisture sensor. So our smart planter is ready and we can go for testing.
that's all for now see you in the next video till then stay tuned